Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Pal World Single Player, where we did do a little bit of work between episodes. I cleared up the ore, I did some collecting and transporting. The dire wolf walked into our camp. That's fine. Um, and I did get our saddles crafted. So now we can ride our chillet, which is a lot of fun. But also, we can ride on our Nightwing. And we can actually fly on our Nightwing. These guys are so slow, but that's okay. At least we have a flying mount, so we can do a lot more exploring. Um, and then, I was just about to take another look at technology. So we have some more stuff that we could get. After we get raided. Most of everyone. Don't care about the syndicate thugs, thank you. I care about wherever this dude's at. Who and where and what and... Huh? I have no idea. See the danger sign now. Oh. Hello. Are you in a rock? Well, now where did you go? Where did he get off to now? It's hard to find in that rock. Dead yet? There you go. Can you actually get in a Pokeball for me? Oh! <laughs> I was not paying attention to my health! That's okay, let's go home. <laughs> okay. Well, we completed the raid. And broke my armor. That's fine. Um, we can do that one. And they just need a piece of cloth. That's easy enough. gonna heal up I was gonna say let's go and and uh, do a syndicate tower challenge today but we're gonna heal up instead um, and we're gonna look at technology so we leveled up and we have unlocked metal chests which I definitely want 
the cooking pot, which we need to upgrade our base. And Floppy's necklace, which we're definitely going to get. But that's what we're going to hold off on for now. And we're going to build up this cooking pot. Because that... Should get us our next upgrade. To the base. And it'll also make making the berries much easier. Which is nice. Oh. But that's fine. I'm very excited for how this is going to go. And then I reminded myself as well that this is actually a solo player game, so I can put away even my PAL souls. Because we're not going to use these yet until we have some better PALs to use them on. That helps. And that means we can upgrade our base. And we could we can build a second base now too. So we are going to go and we are going to take on the Rain Syndicate Tower. And then we're gonna build our next base. Which is going to be another resource base for now. I know. Seems silly. Why well, I have two resource bases. But we're going to need it soon. And there's a resource that's going to take us a while to get. Until then, though, we're going to get some sleep and we're going to go take on the Syndicate Tower. Okay. So things that we need to make sure we've got is plenty of arrows, which we do not have plenty of arrows. And fully repaired armor, which we do have. But as far as the whole arrow situation goes... And of course, plen plenty of inventory space. That's going to be important, too. Spheres, yes. Cash, I don't mind. Because it doesn't take up anything. I'd like to be seeing more arrows coming out of that, but... I'm not, and I'm not sure as to why... This seems a little crazy. Where are all the arrows? There's my old bow. Oh, we might be working on, you know, very few arrows. Okay. Well, very few arrows. I'd like another 300, please. And I guess I'll do some mining and bring you guys back when we have 300 more arrows to go run the Raid Syndicate Tower. Alright, and we're back, and it's nighttime again. Um, we ended up putting another Tombat into the base to try and get more ore going, and I ended up having to grab a Daydream just to get those arrows crafted. It took all day and most of tonight too. So we're gonna get a little sleep and get up in the morning. And when we get up in the morning, 
We're gonna go straight for that rain syndicate tower. Because now we should have it, right? We've got... We've got food. We've got 364 arrows. That'll do. We've got our gear fully repaired. And we're run we're repping that crossbow. So that should be great. We're also going to be riding most likely our chillet. And I guess let's head out. And go and take this on. This should be fun. And, you know, when you just find random skill fruit on the ground, just you grab that. Because at the very least, it's going to sell nicely. Mm, there's Syndicate Thugs out and about. We could go clear that. We'll clear that after. Let's go take on this first boss tower. Oh yeah, and the dire hell thing has been there since we died. So in we go. We're going to be fighting a Grizz Bolt and Zoe. All right. And of course, I have to be able to aim. <laughs> okay. We should definitely let them focus in on that a little bit more. Nope, nope, nope. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> okay. Shield is almost back up. Let's throw you out. Oh, no. Thank you. I don't have your thing. Darn it. It's okay. Our Fox Sparks is pretty tough. I know I should be aiming more for Zoe. Oh, that's following me. Mm. 
Darn it. Not another following me thing. I don't like that. I really don't like you chasing me. shield right now. Come on! Ow! Why does he only want me? Yes, thank you. That was terrible, eh? My Fox Sparks isn't doing so hot yet. And that Grizz Bolt only wants me. There we go. It's got like 4,000 health. You got this. I don't got this. I just need to heal briefly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me having 200 health is not great. I know I'm wasting time. Oh. 
go get him. just needed to heal it's fine okay so we did that I don't know if I'm gonna cut any part of that I might cut some of that um, and we immediately get teleported out but we got some ancient technology too which is great um, yes let's get some more health going and with that ancient technology we're gonna get a feed bag. That's, that's the first thing we're gonna do. We may not get a better feed bag, but we're gonna get the basic feed bag. And we're gonna craft that up because I desperately, desperately desire that. And then we will need this palace condenser at some point. Mega glider is a yes. Stone structure set is a yes. <clears throat> we might need this. We'll see. We'll see on that one. But now that we've done that, we're going to grab this. See, I wish that was actually a better place to build, because it is beautiful over there. But it's really not a great place to build. I mean, it could be nice to build on this section here and just have that off to the side. That's not terrible. Really only two good ways that raids are going to come through. It's not a bad place to build. I'm thinking of different areas in which to build. And that's how you save yourselves. But there is a specific area in which I was thinking of putting my next little area for building. This could be so nice and aesthetic. We might do like a breeding base here. I haven't decided yet, but this might be, like, our pretty base, you know? Our design it base. That could be nice. Okay, but where do we actually need to go? Um, basically, to sum it all up, north. Very, very far north. We're going north. And it may be further to the north than really and truly makes sense at the moment, but that's what we're doing. We're gonna go explore to the north. And there's gonna be things that aren't done, that aren't ready, that aren't fully prepared yet. But we're gonna head up that way. So we're gonna look at this too. Right. We should be able to start breeding pretty much next level. And that could be fun to do. That could be fun to get started on. But I want to build that somewhere pretty. And I think I'm going to just get the structure done for that between episodes, and that'll be our third and final base. We're going to start with the resource-centric bases, though. Because we're going to need some stuff out of here. I think so. I think that's the way we're going to go about it.